XMP calls police brain dead after his home was raided while on holiday. A former MP has called police brain dead and incompetent after his multi-million pound home was raided while he was in Barbados, a court heard. Esmond Bulmer criticized the original police investigation into the burglary after millions of pounds of artwork and antiques were stolen from his home in Bruton, Somerset in March 2009. Bristol Crown Court heard Mr. Bulmer and his wife Susie employed Deborah Barnjum to look after the house and Bernie's mountain dog named Echo while they were on holiday. Men in balaclavas are alleged to have tied M's Barnjum to a banister before driving off with 15 paintings and safe containing £400,000 worth of jewellery. Mr. Bulmer, a member of the Bulmer's Cider family, told the jury, at the end of life you want things together and it was a gross intrusion. The court heard when the couple returned home to the pavilions police were carrying out forensic work and Mr. Bulmer had to wear protective footwear. But in July, police came and told the family that their inquiries had come to nothing, Mr. Bulmer said. The chief constable, later, came to apologize to us for the failure of the earlier investigation, he told the court. The quality of the police investigation subsequently has been of a wholly different order. Mr. Bulmer said he had provided police with a list of suspicions but these were dismissed by officers at the time, and raised concerns with the chief constable of Avon and Somerset police, as well as then Home Secretary Theresa May. In one letter, Mr. Bulmer described officers as brain dead, incompetent, of a low caliber and deplorable. He told the court, all of which the chief constable has accepted and apologized for. Former policeman Richard Ellis, hired by Hiscox Insurance, arranged a sting operation in February 2015. An advert was placed in the Antique Trade Gazette offering a £50,000 reward for the paintings. I was told that contact had been made with the burglars, that a ransom had been agreed, Mr. Bulmer said. I was threatened that one of the pictures was going to be sold to an oligarch and unless we raised the ransom, that would be what would happen. I wanted the picture, it was crucial. The amount agreed was raised to £175,000 and the paintings were returned to a secure location in London in August 2015. Eleven men, including two builders who were working on the pavilions, have gone on trial accused of charges in connection to the burglary and insurance fraud relating to the payment. Prosecutors say they are not the only people involved in the case, with others evading prosecution. Skinder Raleigh, 39, of no fixed address, Liam Judge, 42, and Matthew Evans, 41, both of Tuffley, Gloucestershire, deny conspiracy to commit burglary. Ollie, Mark Regan, 46, of no fixed address, Thomas Lynch, 43, of Small Heath, Birmingham, Donald Maliska, 63, of Dartford, David Price, 53, of Virginia Court. London, and Ico Biemwi, 55, of Ealing, London, deny conspiracy to handle stolen goods, namely 15 paintings. Meliska, Price, OBMW and Jonathan Rees, 62, of Weybridge, Surrey, deny conspiracy to defraud James Esmond Bulmer and Hiscox Insurance. Nigel Blackburn, 60, of Hockley, Birmingham, and Azar Mir, 65, of Sully Hall deny entering into or becoming concerned in a money laundering arrangement. Reese denies doing acts tending and intended to pervert the course of justice. The trial continues. If you have a story for our news team, email us at webnews at metro.co.uk. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter.